hello. So Holly and I, I'm Chris Gosnell, Holly Claire, we're back talking about social media and video, specifically this time, Facebook and Facebook Live. Ooh, so many things. I know, <laughs> I know, I know that Facebook Live scares the pants off of you. I understand. There's good ideas. Remember back in the first video when we were talking about all these different things, people get to know you. They get to hear you and see you and talk to you. If they may not be responding to you one-to-one, -one, although on Facebook Live, they kind of can, can't they? Yeah. That's kind of nice. But they, they get to meet you and hear your inflections. That's something Holly was saying, was they get to see your emotions about things. You know, you can see a picture of me with this pink mohawk and think, oh my gosh, does this woman have anything of intelligence to say? Yes. Yes. I like to think that I would. <laughs> they get to know you. Yes. Yes. So tell us about Facebook Live. Where do you want yes. to start? So you got to start, you got to start by just doing, you know, I tell people all the time, don't be scared to click on stuff, explore. There's always going to be secret buttons. And when you, when there's a secret button, they really do want you to click on it because it gives you more options. So we're going to do a little screen share and Ooh. walk through how to do some Facebook live. So if you are on your desktop computer, it's going to look like this format. Uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. There's a button right there just for live. If you're doing video on your phone, you'll see it gives you the opportunity to write a post and there's also a button there for live as well. And you know how I mentioned those secret spaces. Here's three dots. Look at all the options that you can do when you expand your visibility in here. Mm hmm. So, I mean, looking through the whole list, you can attach activities, emotions, you can share it now. You can, if you're doing just a regular post and want to load up a video that's been pre-edited, yes, you can share it in the future. You can even backdate it. So there are, there are quite a few options, but with live in particular, when you click on live, I don't think it's going to let me walk through the whole bit but it's gonna to need to access your camera. So you wanna make sure to get that camera connected. Mine is gonna show unavailable because we are doing live video, we're recording right now. So what it does for you next is it allows you to type in the title of it. And you always wanna think of something intriguing, um, something real, but don't be too obscure about it. Um, I've seen people do video where they're like, oh, I've got big news. Okay, that's great. About what? I've got big news about my business, about my family. Give them a little bit of more meat and potatoes so they know why they should click on it. And yes. then you just, you start your video. Facebook is gonna count down for you. Five, four, three, two, one. Then you breathe and you start. Ooh, Once you're done, yeah, the breathing part's really important because yes. of time delay. Did you know that? I did. And actually, I've noticed that I think that it starts recording during that 54321 because I've seen folks go from total blank face to or squinting to try to see it because, of course, they're my age and they, didn't, they don't want to record <laughs> with their reading glasses on. And yeah, that could or could not be me. Uh, <laughs> I tell you, there's something, if I haven't gotten used to seeing small camera screens from far away, yeah, I, I would be in a bad place. <laughs> they do that. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, hi. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I think it starts recording early, but you're right. Take a breath, gather what you're doing, smile. Yes. Smiling is important. And, and also don't, please don't start off your video by doing like an obnoxious hi, unless that's something you're just known for. I always <laughs> hear people, hello, hi. And then they go into their normal voice. That's not your voice, right? So, hey everybody, you, girl. I am Holly Claire, the social media advisor. You don't even have to say what it is you do, but start by introing, give yourself pauses, think about the things you wanna say. Chris gave me this great tip once. <laughs> Are you pulling and, out a sticky note? Yeah. Yes. 
And so if you really don't want to get lost in what you're talking about, you put your bullet points on the sticky note, you stick it right underneath your little webcam, and then you're going to know what to say. You're not going to get lost. And now, I say, if you're, I'm sorry. And I'm also saying if you're putting it on your phone, yeah. like if you're recording on your phone, Put it on your screen. Once you've got it, the, the camera set, put it on your screen so you can't stare at yourself. Yes, because that's what we tend to do. We tend to look at the screen instead of looking right at the camera. And we, we want to look at the camera because that's the people Eye are contact. on the other side of that. Yeah. I can look down here at Chris, like Chris right now is on this part of my screen. I can look at her and just talk to her all day long. But now it looks like I'm having a conversation with someone else completely. Mm -hmm. It goes from this myth mythical person to you. I'm talking yes. to you. Yes. So that's valuable in all video, my friends. Now you want to outline it in such a way where you describe what you're going to talk about. You talk about what you're going to talk about. And then you button up what you're going to talk about. It's like those outlines in, in English class in high school. <laughs> you know? Oh, Yes. Because we know what we're going to say, but if we're not talking about what we're going to talk about before we talk about it, then it kind of sounds like we're hopping all over the place with that intention. Now, because it's live, people can jump on it anytime during, during your live. They're going to see you where you are. So if you're not summarizing it at all, how are they going to know to go back and watch more? Right? Uh -huh. So all things to think about. Uh, I tend to always invite people to some sort of a call to action, which is, okay, so respond with something down below. So if you agree, press one. If you disagree, press two. You know, if they're commenting and they're doing numbers, now you're seeing that they are truly listening to the things you're talking about. Yeah, I've seen people do really well, like shout out with, whatever the word is or a certain phrase if you believe that you know yes. so yeah you just start seeing this phrase going down in the comments like that's kind of cool yeah well and it's because we're asking them to do something right we're mm -hmm. telling that we're keeping it as simple as possible we're kissing it right we're because we've told them what we'd like for them to do to participate they're excited to participate if we don't ask them some way to participate they're they may or may not even comment so engagement, of course, is always key. So make sure to, to try to get engagement. And then at the end of your video, tell them what you want them to do next. Yes, I love that. Um, if I'm doing, so sometimes I'll do, I'm jumping ahead a little bit. I'll do a Facebook Live short one minute to talk about something that I've made a longer video, pre-recorded video and put on my blog. Yeah. Absolutely. So then, so then at the bottom of that video, at the end of the description or the caption, I'll put my website or maybe even that blog link if I have it very particularly. Yes. Particular, yeah. Particularly. Particularly. Yes. <laughs> That's easy for me to say, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I like to do that because I'll make, you know, a long five minute video, three to five minute video that, uh, that loads with keywords and such for my blog. And then I'll make a short video to put on social media that just kind of opens a question. Yep. What, where should we do headshots? Should we do it in studio or, or over at Garden of the Gods? In Colorado Springs, that's a beautiful place. If you've never oh. seen Garden of the Gods, you it need is to look a, it up. It is a garden of the gods, you know? Yes. So it, that was like, ooh, well. <laughs> and on the Facebook Live, I'm just introducing the question. And I say, well, if you want to dive into it, I've got a great video over on my website. Yes. Here's the link. You have, to tell, you have to tell them where to go. Now, maybe you forgot to do all of that. Maybe, maybe that was the least of your priorities while you were doing your, your recording. Once you're done doing your video, you actually have to click publish. You can also delete it, but you know, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer in staying authentic. And so if you do a recording, keep it. Mm -hmm. um, this is an area where it has video library. So you go to publishing tools, video library. And what it's gonna show you here is all the videos that you've done and allow you to edit. So even though you might've finished everything from before, go back in here 
add some more meat and potatoes. And I haven't actually edited this one yet. So we're gonna do that together. Um, building confidence. Oh, and while you're there, can you go over captions? So important. Uh, yes. <laughs> so when you do your post and you say what it is that you're gonna be talking about in your video, that shows up down here as a post, but it doesn't title your video. Mm -hmm. And so I like to tend to ask questions. What is, why is it important to build confidence? And have a positive mindset. So when you ask questions in your title, that actually helps with your, your search results because that's how people think when they communicate. Why is it important to build confidence and have a, uh, have a positive mindset? They might actually type that in to find something to search about. Uh, you also, you can tag people. So I'm going to tag this one. That's, there we go. Uh, you can add location now. You can add keywords and Facebook is going to tell you whether or not your keyword is in here. No, nope, it's not in there. So we'll just leave one for now. Captions are important because not everybody can hear you, right? Um, but they can read what it is that you're saying. Mm -hmm. And there's also different languages as well. So if I'm using language as English on my Facebook, but I'm also talking to somebody who's reading, who has their Facebook set up to Spanish, captions can translate that. So we could add subtitles and captions. Just walk through, this. walk through the steps. Easy peasy guys, just click on every single section and make sure that it's exactly how you want it to be. Right? Uh, I love it. Another now, thing it's good to note. to note that you can't do this from a phone. You have to do this portion anyway. Yep. Going through and editing like this with all of these options, including captions from a, a computer, a laptop. Exactly. I that one. Yeah. And it's easiest to download as well because I clicked on those little hidden three dots again. Here's the download SD embed link that we were talking about. And so here's what the embed link looks like. It's just gonna give me a bunch of, bunch of code. I just copy that whole thing. See, right here. Awesome. Yes. And once you're done, you click save. Now, where would you embed that? I could embed it in a newsletter. I could nice. put it in my website. I so could put I'm, it in an email. I like that, because if I'm using this, for instance, um, Let's say I have a text, um, instead of just a newsletter, I'm sending a weekly text update. Yep. I could put that in there as exactly. an embed. Exactly, exactly. That's really nice. Or would I want to do a link, I wonder, in a text, but either way, the idea yeah. is I can take them straight to the Facebook page mm -hmm. and that post in particular. That's really nice. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Well, yeah, it is. So oh, I'm going to go ahead cool. and stop sharing that. It's, and that's really, really the nuts and bolts of Facebook Live. And um, YouTube Live is very similar format, friends. So um, that's not actually something we're going to cover, but play with it. And just remember, look into the camera, put together your little sticky note of your three bullet points, mm -hmm. click on all sorts of things. And if you forget to format it, go back in once it's published and edit your video, make it searchable, add your captions. I love the idea of making it searchable because you don't think of Facebook and YouTube and other places like that that you can do as a search engine, but it is. It's huge. You know, the top two sets of words that people use in YouTube are how to and what is. Yeah. So if you and have that in your video, your probability of getting seen and getting views is going to be so much higher. I love it. I love, love, love it. And then let's see. So Facebook live, I had another thought and it just went right out. I mean, it's buried out the headphones. And <laughs> it ran out the room. 
Now on your phone, you can do some really quirky things on Facebook Live. Like you can have different filters, you can have songs playing, you know, fun little borders. You know, I've seen people do that from time to time. It kind of looks like the, the Snapchat version of Facebook Live video, but yeah. So play with it, <laughs> have fun with it. And don't worry about shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Say your ums. Be be yes, yourself. That's what be I was authentically say. in you in that. Because it's natural. People stop. They look. They go. Uh, okay, there it is. <laughs> that's natural. Absolutely natural. Take your points, your bullet points, and I'm going to put it right back on my screen. Just take a second, and you'll notice that we're doing it in the video. We're looking at our notes. Mine's right here. So <laughs> I'm looking down at them. Oh yeah, that's where I am. Okay, and get right back to it. Yes. And rotation. What um, axis should we have our phones well, if, on? Well, if you're going to do it from the desktop computer, it's going to be landscape. I prefer to do vertical uh, when I'm on my phone, mostly because you're going to be sideways if you're not. <laughs> um, it's different on tablets as well. It just depends on the settings of the particular tablet that you have. But if you wanted to, you could do check this out. This is going to be mind blowing. Facebook live on the computer, have your phone set up to do Instagram. Then also have a tablet set up. So you're on YouTube live. And if you've got it all configured just right, you can have all of your little cameras right in the same spot. So it looks almost like you're looking at one camera. Uh-huh. Okay, you just blew my mind. Right? <laughs> You're going to have to show me that cool trick. Yeah, there's actually devices that they create that are like tripods that are set up for your desk so you can have all of these different devices right here. Whoa. I know. But <sighs> I do teach that you shouldn't create a, a, a profile on every single platform. Right. Yeah, yeah I'm on two. Yeah. I really am, that I'm really involved in too. Yeah, absolutely. So what's awesome. up next, my friend? What, uh, what well, can we look forward to, to sharing with our friends? I'd like to talk a little bit about Facebook versus Instagram and what the, the page, the, you know, the daily feed portion of it. And then IGTV is a completely different little monster there. All right. So, and who belongs on Facebook? Who belongs on Instagram? Who's going there? What's it used for? That's what I want to talk about next. All right. Well, tune in. See you soon. <laughs>